That's it, guys. We got all of it. We got all of it. Concept. The early sketches. Access chapter menu. Okay. The balloon radar. Clean the canvas. We have it. Hose. We have it. Pick up blueprint boxes by holding F. I guess we have it. Uh, original prototype. The first level we created to explore how to paint white space might work. Access. <laughs> okay, we gotta check that out. Unlock chapters. Open up every level of the game. Access chapter menu. Oh, we didn't do the sniper rifle. Stop time for balls. Yep. All right. Let's let's go to the the extras, I guess, real quick. Extras, credits, concept art, original thing. We've seen the credits, more or less. Let's see what let's see what it looks like real quick. Just be sure. Uh, okay. Wait. Wait. All right. We're we're gonna end on that. Oh, this is cool. Little signatures. I love the style of this game. It's so pretty and like, it's cool. It's like, it's a lot of fun. 502, 402, 401. Uh, <laughs> I didn't even notice that the freaking ship has a mustache. Oh my God. If it actually does, it might not be in the game. <laughs> that might just be concept. This reminds me a lot of Escher, like MC Escher. Yeah, but hey, we were in that place. They created that really closely, honestly. That's so cool. I love seeing like concept art after like experiencing a game to see like where it all spawned. That's, oh, that's, that's the, that's the white garden with the bench. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that's so pretty. Wow. And the whale. Him sleeping with his hippo. Oh, this is so cool. Still peeking through. This has been such a good game. Wow, there's 70 of these? I even realize. Oh, that's pretty. I hate this. Moving on. That's kind of creepy. It's like taking over the light. Whoa. So, Mother Fala. I guess? So, Queen King... 36 year old. Ooh, 36 year old king. 36 year old. Okay, wait. That's interesting. Okay. A king. Nine years old. Nine years old. Nine years old. He disappeared. Hippo. <laughs> Monroe. Okay. 36. Wow. Okay. This. If. It, if that's, if the years pass in this like imaginary like concept world where he built his palace and everything and became the king, if that's, if that's normal time, then technically, uh, the the Finches, the other game, Edith Finch, um, that's that's before this. This is that's a pre. This is like a sequel. King. <laughs> King. Two different types here. Wait a minute. Interesting. This guy. Are these two different kings? Was this a guy? Was this the king beforehand? That's a, just so majestic. I absolutely love that. <laughs> oh, look at this guy. <laughs> in space different mustache oof that mustache mm, you gotta get the curls Monroe ah oh, man oh this is fun 
pennies or something? Crocodile. Crocodile. <laughs> Just a frog. <laughs> Fish. Fish. The queen, different get ups. It's so weird to me that he created his queen, his wife. It's it's weird. It's weird to me. <laughs> oh well. Oh, that makes sense. I seeing the negative of this and only the lines. This actually looks like a normal frog. When I kept seeing the silhouette, I thought these represented like glasses, like Edie. Edie Finch. I thought those. I thought this rep represented her. Because I thought. When you, well, we'll get to it. We'll get to that. <laughs> we'll get to that. I'll mention it when we go back to the finches real quick. Big spurter. Yes, you could have debris, but have you ever thought of spider debris? Of course. Of course. Ooh. Spooky. Mm. He's fighting off the. I. I guess the thing he created. <laughs> oh, I was like, this is him. This is his concept of him making himself. It didn't get this finished. Oh my gosh. Ooh, it's so ominous. Swan, swan eggs. Aww. Good timing on the music. Lovely. All right, let's quickly look at the prototype. Gotta see it. Gotta see it. But we can also... Sniper! <laughs> Deadly accuracy. Okay, hose. Hose is H. Oh no, hold on, R. Is it just a room? Oh no, this is the first level, kinda. This is a bigger space though, or maybe not. Oh, 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 okay, here we go. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, this is different. It's similar to their first level. It's a good concept to like start in a white room with one corridor because you really start to understand like the space when you only have one way to go. So it's that's kind of a cool introduction to the concept of this. Please wake up. Okay, never want to see that. See people like bump it into you in the middle of the streets. Like, wake up. Wake up, Bart. What? Where, where am I right now? Well, I guess that's the point. It's just to like, explore. This is just a giant world of just like a maze. I wonder if they made like an upper area to see what you've done so far. I guess that was kind of the it. I was thinking it would be like, look down on what you've created. <laughs> look, yeah, look at that. You look right over what you've done. And I bet they thought that was cool. So they like tried to, I could tell on the game design that it would make you go through an area and then you'd look kind of back where you've been because you could see the mess you've created, like the vines and stuff. And they tried to recreate this with just like painting the ground with the vines so you can look back like oh yep you painted everything in vines this time uh you could see down oh that's so cool that's exactly what i thought they would have done <laughs> in this prototype they had in their prototype level they knew it would be such a cool experience to like then walk kind of re-realize what you what you went through and see what you painted that's i don't know that's so cool such a good concept now we have a big area again Whoa. Oh, there's a star over there. The color story of the game is interesting too because you start in all white and you kind of end in like a completely silhouetted place. What was that? Oh, I can now paint it white. Oh, that's cool. That didn't give me this option before, but now we're, we're inverse, baby. Is there anything else? Man, I kind of want to see where this ends now. 
That was like a townscape. Look at that. Oh, that's cool. It's like seeing a little city. That's neat. The star is born. Oh, look at that. Invisible. Painted in. To the star. I want to become a star. Take me. Okay, here we go. Wait. We're in. And it's playing the music! And you can see... It fills in the story of... He walked through a door... Because he heard a knocking... Just like the time he came to that world. Look at that! It's like painting in, like, in the game. I didn't realize what I was looking at when I saw this before, but... That's the how you interact with that game is like you shoot the plants paint splatters and it's around geometry and that's the whole concept of that that's what that painting represents now and these are parts in the ah this is ah i think Edie was happy to finally have another painter in the family oh my gosh and that's why i thought that was connected to Edie. this thing right here because those are glasses these are concepts of like the concepts we just looked at but he was like, if this takes literal, like, Milton was planning out the garden right here. This is the garden, right? Yeah, the broken uh, Ziggy Zag. He only went one way, and there was that cannonball over there. Or not cannonball, but breaking ball. Breaking. Wrecking ball. There we go. <laughs> and then the garden. And then his sculpt. There it is right there. You can even see it. Oh, my gosh. And then his ship, obviously, he didn't have a mustache on it. Okay, so that was only in the concept. I kind of wish I put the mustache on it, but that's, I understand. I understand. What? So, in the timeline of this game right now, he is technically alive in this world, in a door that he drew. But we gotta go watch that thing. But he slept here, and... Oh. Gosh. He's still alive, though. I mean, I, I gotta take that as, like, he's alive. And there he is, like, literally, le legit, that's him. That's a portrait of him. With his king crown. Oh, in the bamboo forest? Oh, it's like... This, this also tells that he was designing this world in his head and then he went into that world and he created it. Like, there's a lot of ways I feel like I could look at this. Like, one end is, like, the realism in this game, like, looking at his actual portrait here, it's not one-to-one. -one. Like, when we're in that other game, even though it's an art style change, it's an older style of their game and that's, like, that's the reason, right? But it's also kind of maybe it's the reasons like, did this play out in his head already? Is is he actually gone? And this was like, like, cause look, he even had the design for his like labyrinth area. Like, he went in and designed this in the, you know, the magic world. I guess is what you can call it. I don't know. I don't know what to think. I don't know if, if it's a representation, some kind of, um, to say that there's something bad happened and he more or less like, <laughs> I don't know, uh, that something bad happened here and he's not living in an imaginary world. And that's just a fantasy that he is like, like his brother, like his brother, right? His brother had this fantasy. He kept playing in his head to the point where he literally chopped off his head, right? Did Milton have like the same trait? Because they're both connected. I am, I'm pretty sure that Lewis had a, wanted to be a king, like on his grave, on the Lewis's. Why is there, wait a minute. 
Uh, we're gonna watch this, but I have I have to check something. Milton Finch in the magic paintbrush. The magic paintbrush. Milton Finch. How do you do this again? There we go. Hold it and then left. That's him. He's painting. That's the that's the paintbrush. And he's out of there. I was four when Milton disappeared. Man, I... I mean, I don't, I don't think it tells us more than what we thought, right? Like... Mom spent months searching for my brother. Then she sealed the doors. Oh, oh man. Imagine that too, months. Like some people leave like their child's room for like years untouched, but she knew with the story of the family that she shut it after months. Like, I don't know, still months is a lot and there's no sign of them, but. You know, that's interesting. It's a different door, isn't it? Um, that door handle is like a hinge, almost like a knocker, but the one he uses is like a turn. Man. Okay, wait. Um, I want to look at the graves. We're going to go look at the graves. Now that there's only one of us left, or maybe two, I thought it was time I heard the stories for myself. And one of what us. happened to everyone else. It's funny. When she but said... But now I'm worried the stories themselves might be the problem. Like... I some... don't know if I should even be writing this. Now that I know Maybe that she... it'd be better if all this just died with me. <laughs> she keeps interrupting me. <laughs> but I don't... <laughs> but I thought you should know about your family. <laughs> okay. History. Stop interrupting me. Honest, I feel as lost as you probably do right now. Uh, oh gosh. As I was saying, I think the people in these stories believed them. I think that uh, it's when she says uh, maybe one of us or two of us. Now that I know she's speaking to her like child unborn, it makes me think that she wasn't talking about Milton at all. When I, f I think my first impression was Milton, right? Lewis Finch. She lost two of her brothers, just like I did. I get why she tried so hard to protect us. And Milton. Wait, we have a thing for Milton. We never found Milton's body, so my mom insisted we were putting up a monument, not a tombstone. He's technically still alive. Um. Oh, interesting. Okay, so wait. Here's my thought, though. So I, I came here thinking, I because I always I associated Lewis with the king because he has a crown. But who put the crown there? Like okay, there's two either two options, and I think it's I think it's the first option. I thought I thought the crown was dropped off by probably the mother. Um. I have a feeling that's true because I mean he thought he was a king in his imaginary world Milton meanwhile he really doesn't have any regrets leaving it seems to the end I mean he he had regrets in the way he acted and he wanted to pass the torch to his son and kind of realized his drive for like creating something that would never age and never get destroyed didn't matter didn't exactly matter it's so interesting two brothers who were kings i don't know that's crazy that's interesting to me 
I, my uh, just to lay it out, I thought the crown was maybe laid by Milton. That's what I didn't. I don't know if I verbalized that, but uh, yeah, I thought Milton maybe came back and put a crown on on his brother's tombstone because he is technically a king. But I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think Milton would have come back at all. Unless there's some kind of representation I'm missing or some part of the story I, I have yet to seen in this kind of like continuous story of the Finches. Alright, let's uh let's quickly go back to the game. And credits. Thank you for joining me with the unfinished swan or the unfinished duck. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this this uh my playthrough of it it's such it's so cool it's it's a cool to see like obviously where these i believe this is their first game like these game designers maybe not maybe their first like big one but it's cool this is all of them like drawn oh that's cool um oh this is great oh i love that oh, these are good caricatures um but it's cool to see like where uh what remains of edith finch like came from and the continuation of like explanation of what happened to Milton because that's like the first thing it's mentioned in Edith Finch is that her brother disappeared and never showed up again and there was like a, a you know a flyer on a, a, a light pole so it's like it's cool to see kind of what might be happening behind the scenes of this like world he's in and he's having a family. He literally has a kid that like continues his legacy more or less. So the Finch has survived. There's there's a Finch alive. But yeah. So cool. Cast the King Terry Gillum. I guess that's the voices, right? Right, right. Monroe, Nicholas. Hippo is Eric Willow. Man, dude, Eric, you kill that is the hippo <laughs> honestly his hippo voice was pretty sick it was good and yeah, this has been so much fun uh as always at the end of our series if you got this far and enjoyed this i'd appreciate it if you want to subscribe and follow me in the next story we go through i i really believe that games are something that are just like amazing stories to like journey through and experience a lot of like my interpretations of like games have been so a part of like a physical like sense of myself growing up and in a way that like I made a lot of my friends online and like when I think of moments of us like hanging out back in the day I don't put it in the real world I put it in like World of Warcraft somewhere we were hanging out or something like that like that's my like visual interpretation so I, that's kind of a weird thing to say maybe but I, I really like I have a I feel like I have a real connection to games and I, I want to I don't know I just want to experience games and kind of document me like playing it in some ways just for maybe me to look back on later or like if you guys enjoy it like obviously I wouldn't be like really seeing these if people didn't seem to have an interest I appreciate all of you guys watching you know and uh I just appreciate it we're, we're humble beginnings on this channel for sure like, uh, I think we're at 69 subscribers. Ayy. We can't get any more subscribers unless we get all the way <laughs> to another 69. <laughs> we got to get 690. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see if that even gets that far. It's humble beginnings. But I'm enjoying this. And I... It, gives, it honestly gives me an excuse to go out to do something I wanted to do already. And, and go play store games and, like make it an experience because it's going to be an experience for me already but this makes it kind of feel i don't know feels like i've mentioned in other games i feel like i'm in you know you guys are joining me and we're sitting down on one night to play a game together and it's cool to see all your comments you know i, I appreciate everyone that's been following all kv you always there you always commenting you're awesome I, it makes my day when i see commenters just, you know, expressing how much they love the game. It was, in, you know, hopefully if they liked my playthrough of it. You know, you guys always can tell me things to improve. I, you know, there's a, I guess there's a line there in some ways, but I kind of, you know, I wouldn't mind, you know, hey, 
audio is weird. Hey, maybe different kind of background. I don't know. If you guys have any things like on that side, shoot it at me. Who knows? But, uh, no, you don't have to. You could also just say, hey, I like Hayes. How you doing? <laughs> I'm just rambling at this point. But I'm in such a good mood. Of, this is a great game. This is such a good game. Uh, I think we're on to... Hey, wait, it's not recording. Oh, no, I'm still recording Edith Finch, not this game. Ah, uh, no. I'm going to have to, like, re-record the credits. <laughs> I'm going to have to re-record the credits and, like, pop that in. Oops. It's... <laughs> Hopefully the audio... The audio probably cut out there for a second, but hopefully the audio at least went through. Oh, that was so dumb. There's another king. Are the oh these are different uh these are translations. Japanese logo designer. Oh that's cool, they translated it uh for a Japanese audience too. Or maybe it's vice versa, maybe it's the other way around. Maybe it was a Japanese game and was was translated to English. <clears throat> that was really cool. He's the last guy. He's in the middle. Music composed by Joel. Oh, that's a good time to start the jingle for the... That's that's Milton's jingle, too. Ah. Oh, these are so cool. Well, I hope you enjoyed. I'm going to watch this to the end, and I'll probably keep continue rambling. If you guys haven't switched off already, you know. I hope you're having a nice... Evening, day, morning, morning, a evening. Having a, a good life out there. And I hope you go experience new games and, and take them as a journey. Because they're fun little compact journeys. They are cool. <laughs> that's, that's. Hot Sim 20, 2022. Games are cool. Quote. <laughs> Well, I guess we're moving on to the next game. What game should we do? That's a question. That's just a question. Huh. I think there's another game in this series. I need to check. But we might go straight into that one because we've done the other two. I feel like we need to finish the third one. <laughs> so we might do that. Um, I guess we'll find out. Gotta respect the credits, yo. You can't finish a game without throwing the credits in. It's disrespectful. You gotta respect these people who made the game. Acupuncture. Uh, Anapurana. I don't know why I said acupuncture. Anapurana Interactive. I really like... I mean, they're not the full-on game designers, right? But they're like the producers. I don't know how that relationship works. But I know they really seem to have a connection to a lot of great games. You know, Outer Wilds, uh, these two, <laughs> these two games. Uh, and then there's a whole, like, I've actually, they, they just recently had a sale on all their games. And I, I got a bunch of them because I, they're great games. I never played them. So, gotta play them. Well, I'll see you next time to the next adventure we go on. Goodbye. Goodbye. As a final thing, I found out that there isn't a third game uh, between the Unfinished Swan and... Uh, what remains of Edith Finch. I, for some reason, thought there was. So, a little, little last thing. But yes, goodbye. <laughs>